Are you having trouble with your putting motion? Are you looking to level things up around the green? Are you open to trying something new with your putting? If so, then this is the video for you. In today's video, we are going to talk about some putting grip options that really might be the ticket for you to take your putting game to the next level. Now, in the description, there's a PDF that supports this video and gives you great information and details about these options, photos, detailed descriptions and the like. So please be sure to click on that to get that ready resource. In the meantime, if you're ready to get your flat stick in motion, let's get to it. So the first grip we'll discuss here is the traditional grip. Yep, it's basically the same grip you use with the other clubs in your bag. Now this is a great place to start for many golfers since it doesn't require us to remember another hand position. There's just a slight adjustment of the club grip within the fingers to ensure that the club face remains square at impact, which is really important in putting. Next up is the claw. Also known as the pencil grip, this unique approach to guiding the putter really does help golfers struggling with steadiness since the dominant hand is basically off the club. With the claw or pencil grip, only the thumb, index, and middle fingers of your dominant hand are used to grip the club. Again, the hand is almost completely off the club. With the non-dominant hand steady at the top of the putter shaft with your dominant hand below, you'll find that you'll be gripping the shaft just as you would a pencil. In turn, smoothness and fluidity is brought to your putting stroke. Next up is the cross hand grip. Now as a coach, this is one of my personal favorites when working to help improve golfers putting performance. For right-handed golfers, this grip style is often described as left hand low, and it's incredibly popular and works so well for so many people. So simply put, the cross hand grip is the reverse of the traditional grip. The defining characteristic of this grip style is that it allows your non-dominant hand to be more in control to create a more balanced swing. By just switching your hands around, put your non-dominant hand above your dominant one, you can eliminate those flippy wrists that are compromising putting strokes. Let's talk about the split grip. So if you're reasonably comfortable with using your traditional golf grip on the putter, but are looking for a bit of a change to boost up your flat stick action, then the split is a perfect option for you to consider. The split is simply your traditional golf grip with your hands disconnected. You choose the amount of space between your hands that's most comfortable for you. Then, by placing the gap between your hands, you're likely to have improved control over your putter. Hopefully, this will lead to improved accuracy on your putts. So as you can see, experimenting with a few different types of putting grips might be the way to improve your putting stroke. Be sure to click on the link below to get the PDF and other resources to help you level up your putting game. See you in the next video.